Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So I just recently discovered that I have wavy hair. Um, and I know this because I read a bunch of stories on Reddit of people with the same story as me where I have, or I thought I had straight hair, but frizzy. Um, but I'm following a wavy hair routine, so come and join me. So this is day two after my hair washing day. Um, as you can see, the front parts of my hair got really straight, like the front strands. Probably because I keep touching it and like moving it out of my face. But my back, there's a lot of frizz going on. It still held its curl and I used the mousse, as I mentioned. And like the under layers look really curly still or wavy. Whoops. And same for on this side. It just seems like it's the top part and like the front strands. And then as you move towards the back and under, it's more curly. Um, I probably need to look at some refreshing videos and probably stop touching my hair. Um, but that is my updates. Um, and I need to learn how to make it less frizzy. It's really all trial and error. So here is take two. And this is my day one hair after, after trying the wavy hair routine for this second time. So this time I deep conditioned in the shower um, and I left the product in for like five minutes, maybe 10 minutes and I brushed it out, making sure that I'm brushing it when it is conditioned and kind of scrunching it also while I'm in the shower. And then getting out of the shower, I tried damp styling this time. So I tested my hair and found that it's low porosity. I just like took a strand and put in water and found that it was floating. So I'm guessing that's low porosity. So I used the t-shirt towel and plopped it for about 15 minutes before actually going in and applying my products. Um, just to test it out again, this is my second time, so I don't know what works for my hair yet. So after the t-shirt towel, I put mousse on first. So I use prayer hands to distribute the product all over my hair and I um, scrunched it in. And this time I actually did it more upside down instead of like standing upright. Um, and I also went and used a little bit of gel just mainly around the front, oops, mainly around the front pieces. Um, because last time the front pieces did not hold at all. They were straight while the rest of my hair was wavy. So even now you can kind of see the back pieces are more wavy than the front pieces. Still trying to test that out. Um, and again, I did it upside down and I don't know if I like that either. It came out very voluminous, more voluminous than I expected. But anyways, after I did that and scrunching it in, um, I just diffused it for maybe 10, 15 minutes on low heat and low speed just to reduce frizz. And I found that that helped because last time I did medium heat, medium speed, um, and my hair came out pretty frizzy in my opinion. Um, but yeah, I have a lot of hair. Like, it's pretty thick. So I had to go back and diffuse it again after air drying it because it wasn't dry in like the center back of my head. And after I did that, after it was 100% dry, I scrunched out the crunch and I did pineapple bun to, to go to sleep. And I also have satin silk pill pillowcases to help with the frizz. And as soon as I woke up and I took out the uh, satin silk scrunchie for the pineapple bun, my hair was so big. <laughs> I don't know if I like it, so, I mean, it definitely died down now. It was way frizz, or a little frizzy and bigger earlier this morning. It's like late afternoon now, but this is what I have. Don't mind the mess back there. I think I'm 2B, 2C, low porosity, but let me know what you think because I'm still experimenting and I'll take any advice I can get. But just checking in, showing what I have. So it's the third time I've tried this and I think it turned out a little better this time. Um, I kind of simplified my routine. So I shampooed, conditioner as usual, and then combing it with conditioner. 
and then this time instead of waiting for a damp style I just went straight in um, when my hair was soaking wet with mousse so I applied it with prayer hands and then I just scrunched it and I held it there this time so that the wave can hold instead of it just plopping and then um, unscrunching so I I held it there for a little bit that's my lunch <laughs> and then um, this is what came out of it again my pieces in the front are still semi straight but this side looked a little better before it was just straight this time it's a little more wavy um, the frizziness wise it is a little more frizzy and I wonder if that's because I just air dried it I didn't diffuse it at all I just prayer hand distributed the mousse scrunched it and air dried and that's it um, I didn't put it in a pineapple bun this time I didn't uh, put it up this time with the satin scrunchie I just slept on it on my silk pillowcase and I woke up and this is what it looks like um, it is flatter uh, which I kind of like it is wavy again the back pieces are wavy front pieces same issue less wavy but um, it's okay frizziness um, a little more frizzy so I'm guessing next time maybe I can do the same routine but instead of air drying it I will diffuse it so we will see how it goes so this is the fourth time that I'm doing it and again I'm still just using the mousse um, you can tell the waves are there but it's definitely in a more frizzy manner and the hair in the front is still semi straight so next I'm going to try throwing in a gel product and we'll see how that goes all right so I think this is now the fourth time doing the wavy hair routine on now day four hair um, after using just this mousse the front pieces have definitely straightened out now I'm starting to think that my front pieces are more 2a if anything and then the back pieces have stayed semi-curly, or wavy, I mean. These look like a mix between 2B and 2C to me, but let me know what you think. Um, but this time, I'm going to follow the same routine, but instead of using this mousse, I got this Eco Gel after watching YouTube and looking at the Reddit community. Um, I got the Argan style one, I mean the Argan oil one. And it's alcohol free, max hold of 10. And yeah, it's for all hair types. It actually smells really good. It has this consistency, it's pretty thick. It smells really good, actually. Then I'll show you how it goes. So here I am combing my hair from the bottom to the top of my head. I read that some people do this before they shower so that they can brush out all of the tangles in their hair. Um, but I don't really recommend this. I feel like it just causes more breakage. I recommend in the shower when you're conditioning your hair, make sure it's silky and all smooth before going in with your comb um, to brush out any tangles that are left over. Um, that will make sure there's less breakage versus combing it dry. All right, so my hair is soaking wet now, and I'm just gonna go in with the Eco Gel. I'm excited to see how this turns out. I'm gonna try a little bit at a time, so I'm just grabbing this much. Smells good. Oh, okay, it's really smooth in the application. I found that adding gel helped to make the waves more defined for sure and as you can tell here it's definitely more wavy and I'm just diffusing my hair until it's mostly dry and I let it air dry the rest of the way and as you can tell it's softer after scrunching up the crunch 
it's more defined in terms of the waves and as I'm refining my routine, I found that it became less wavy the more gel that I use and the more I did it. Um, you can tell here it's <laughs> after I fix my hair a little bit, it's definitely more wavy and the waves are becoming more defined. Um, so as I continue doing this, I'm hoping my waves, my natural waves will come out more. Thank you everyone for tuning in. Uh, please let me know if you have any questions and a thumbs up if you like this video. Thank you.